What is up, Man 25 Gamers? Welcome to our play of the day. Uh, yesterday we broke down a unique little offensive, or excuse me, a unique little defensive tip. And uh, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit more about the offensive side. And uh, we're going to talk about a tip that's kind of been around, and I don't know how many people uh, know about it. I don't know how many people have researched it. But I do want to give you kind of a quick little introduction into the tip and kind of talk a little bit about it. Uh, and so the tip comes from any, it doesn't matter what formation, the formation we're using today uh, is the shotgun split flex. And we all know about the popular play, uh, hawks or shallow cross, hawks quick out, those kind of plays uh, with the auto motion. One of the problems to always running like auto motions like these is we don't necessarily like the way that they don't align with the rest of the formation. So I have these plays in my audibles, and that's what you want to do. You want to put one of these plays in your audibles for this tip. Uh, but we're just going to talk about, we're going to come out in like the halfback slip screen, okay? And so what happens, and we're just going to call a, uh, a big nickel, or excuse me, we're going to call a dime normal, and we're just going to call a two man under. And we see here, when we audible to like Hawks Drive, you see how that, uh, wide receiver comes in. Well, that's a little bit of a tell uh, that we might be running, uh, you know, if we only have one or two plays, we might only be running those plays and, and we might just, it's a little bit of a tell. We're not as universal. Another thing that we struggle with in Madden 25 is having routes that consistently beat the defense for longer gains. And uh, that leads me to my next point. With these uh, little auto motion plays here that we have, and uh, guys, we're also in the Minnesota playbook. Uh, for those of you wondering, but when we audible to one of these plays, if we just quickly hot route AJ Green to a streak, so here we're gonna hot route him. See how he stays there, and his uh, the guy guarding him goes to the inside. Well, you would think that that little tip right there is good enough to beat um, beat him deep. It is most of the time, but not always. And so what I like to use as a kind of a rule of thumb for this is when I see something like this, a show blitz look. So when this safety kind of creeps in a little bit, even if he has that deep blue designation, that's almost an immediate every single time audible to a play like that. And you don't even you can take the auto motion off if you want to, but it's mainly just get that ball out of your hands, get that ball deep downfield, and uh, give AJ Green an opportunity to make a play uh, because these are very good plays. This Y shallow cross does a really good job at beating man uh, with a user catch. And so I guess we'll just talk about that specific play. But you have that streak to AJ Green, and that's kind of be kind of your little your little quick little quick read there. If it's open, hit it. If it's not open, uh, don't throw it. One of the things that this does a very good job against is a is a is a play like cover three uh, because he comes in so much. And if we take a look here, this is going to give us a user catch opportunity. And I did a terrible job there of doing it. Uh, but we do have a user catch opportunity uh, with this little uh, streak play here. And that's just swerve him to the inside and uh, cut him off and make a catch. Another opportunity, another thing that we can do with this play, uh, especially if there's a safety bag, is just put AJ Green on a little bitty out route there. And you'll see he automatically is going to get that outside position. And then we can obviously you can try the user catch out routes uh, I didn't mean to do that I just threw it away too late uh, but with this little thing here you can pass lead it up and it turns it into about a 10 yard gain so it's something consistent and I just felt like it's a pretty good little tip a lot of guys have been using it another thing that's really interesting about this is when you use plays like this it seems like uh, for whatever reason these wheel routes are a little bit over effective and we can make those user catches um, and another thing when you use the specific play Hawks drive this route to AJ Green right here on the left side is unbumpable and it's actually pretty good for a user catch uh, because we see we can pass that up and you see how I can cut that off by swerving him to the inside so a couple of different concepts I want you to take away from today's video uh, but the main one is it sets within a set like Hawks drive shallow cross and obviously mesh of course from the shotgun split and also other formations allow you to when you audible to them from a regular play like a halfback slip screen if you put the receiver that's in tight on a streak he will 
uh, be able to just stay there, and his cornerback will completely leave him, go to the inside, and thus giving you that outside position and uh, leading you to more big plays, more touchdowns, and more Ws. So I hope that this play was beneficial to you. If you had something that you didn't understand uh, or also some kind of suggestion for me, uh, please let me know in the comments below so that I can address that. And also, guys, I really want to appreciate uh, let you know that I appreciate you guys watching these videos. And if you have anything that you can bring to me that could potentially improve my YouTube channel, uh, please let me know in the comments as well. Also, guys, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I've been trying to engage a little bit more, get into a little more discussion in there and uh, we can talk a lot more better a lot more better a lot easier on Twitter than we can on YouTube just because uh, it's a little bit better of a messaging system and so if you would like to talk to me uh, on a little bit longer of a conversation uh, please hit me up on Twitter at man tips 365 thank you guys so much and also question for this video uh, let me know how you guys feel about a live stream do you like live streams do you not like live streams when's your favorite time to live stream when's your favorite time to or what's your favorite game to be live streamed uh, obviously I would probably consider streaming a lot of Madden uh, but I don't quite know how to go about it because I did do it one time and it wasn't as successful as I had hoped and uh, I'm hoping to get back into it but we'll see and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments thanks a lot for your time today guys I hope these videos were beneficial today and be sure to come back and talk to us tomorrow thanks a lot have a great evening